My name is Salim al Haq. I'm director of the International Center for Climate Change and Development at the Independent University of Bangladesh and also a senior fellow at the International Institute for Environment and Development in London. Um, I'm about to go to Marrakesh uh, for the 22nd Conference of Parties of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. And in the UNFCC process, I act as an advisor uh, to the group of the least developed countries, which are the poorest countries in the world, nearly 50 of them, and to the chair of the group, who is Mr. Tosin Panum Panum from the Democratic Republic of uh, Congo. And I specifically advise them on issues to do with adaptation and on loss and damage. And while I'm at the COPS, I have been doing this for a number of years, I, I do a, a daily video log on progress from the perspective of the least developed countries, or more broadly, the vulnerable countries. So this is my first video log about the COP22 Marrakesh, and since it hasn't started yet, I'm going to give a, an overview of what our expectations are from the COP over the next two weeks. And I'll mention three things. One of them, a high-level issue, and then the other two more specific to the vulnerable countries. The high-level issue is the need to ramp up ambition to reach the one and a half degree long-term temperature goal, which is something that we, the vulnerable countries and the least developed countries, small island states and African countries and uh, climate vulnerable forum countries all fought for very hard in Paris to get it into the Paris Agreement. The good news is that we have uh, ratified the Paris Agreement in record speed and we are going to uh, it will come into force within a matter of days, and so the first uh, conference of parties after Paris is actually going to talk about implementing the Paris Agreement, not about simply when is it going to be ratified and come into force, which is a very good sign. We need to keep the political momentum going so that all countries, and this is one of the characteristics of the Paris Agreement, it's a universal agreement that all countries have to take action to reduce their emissions to achieve the one and a half degree temperature goal. So that is by far the most important overarching issue that we want to get out of the Marrakesh uh, uh, meeting. The second <coughs> uh, important issue from the perspective of the vulnerable countries, like the least developed countries, is an issue called loss and damage. This is again something that we, the vulnerable countries, have pushed for some time. In the Paris Agreement we have an article, Article 8 on loss and damage. But in Marrakesh, the most important bit is something that happened at the 19th Conference of Parties in COP19 in Warsaw, which was the setting up of the Warsaw International Mechanism on Loss and Damage, that has a committee, an executive committee, who've been meeting and developing a work program in nine different areas. I won't go into the details now, but they have produced a report which is going to be discussed in COP22, and we hope that by the end of COP22, we will have a new decision on taking forward the issue of loss and damage over the next five years. And that's going to be somewhat controversial because it is a politically sensitive issue, but I'm hoping that we will be able to find consensus to take it forward uh, beyond COP22 into the next five years in a pragmatic uh, manner that everybody can agree on. So um, a loss and damage decision, and in many ways I think COP22 will be uh, in some ways the loss and damage COP because this will be one of the major issues that will be discussed and decided on. The third and final area that I'll mention is the issue of adaptation finance, or so finance uh, from the global uh, um, Annex I countries or developed countries to support adaptation in the vulnerable countries. This is a perennial problem. Money gets promised, money doesn't get delivered, uh, and there is a lot of angst and, and uh, heartburn about this. So we are hoping that the current bottlenecks in getting the money to the most vulnerable which is actually trickling down at a pace that is not sufficient at all and indeed isn't even spending the money that is available. And so we really need to ramp up the rate at which funds that are being made available, particularly through the Green Climate Fund, for the most vulnerable countries to deal with the impacts of climate change, which are now real and happening already. These are not something that's going to happen in the future. Flow to those countries quickly and, and uh, robustly at the moment they're just a trickle, and that needs to be increased and enhanced, and I'm hoping that we will find pragmatic ways in which all countries can agree to uh, manage to send the money to the most needy in a manner that they can then use most effectively. 
So we hope that uh, an agreement on speeding up adaptation funding is something that will come out of the COP22 in Marrakesh as well. This is my first uh, video log for the COP22 in Marrakesh. Uh, I'll be doing one every day once the COP starts on the 7th of November. So please do uh, look them up for if you want to follow the issues that I follow, which are the least developed countries' negotiations, positions, and adaptation and loss and damage.